Hey everybody, today we're going to do a video about acids and bases and indicators and how breathing into some water can change the pH of the water. Hey everybody, so what we're going to do today is we're going to put some acid base indicator, this is bromothymol blue, into some of our tap water. And then we're going to use straws and we're going to blow bubbles into the tap water and see how that changes the color of the indicator, which means how it changes the pH of the water. Ready? Okay. Okay, what color is it? Blue. Okay, so blue with this indicator means our tap water is a little bit basic, probably because of some of the things that are dissolved in. So now we're going to be careful and we're only going to blow bubbles. We're not going to drink in, right? Right. Okay, so. Daddy, look at this, my struggle. Okay, yeah. Okay, you ready to start blowing bubbles? Let's blow bubbles and see if this changes color. What happened? Our water turned green. Yeah, green and a little bit yellow too. So that means that instead of being a little bit basic, like it came out of the tap, is that now the water turned a little bit acidic from our breath. So the reason this happens is because what you're breathing out is carbon dioxide and you're breathing it into the water. Now carbon dioxide is not an acid. You don't have acid in your breath, but the carbon dioxide reacts with the water. To make this carbonic acid. So this, when it is in water, this carbonic acid, these hydrogens come off, which is what makes it an acid. Uh, this is very damaging to corals and shelled animals. And it is what's causing our oceans to become more acidic as there is more CO2 in the atmosphere. More CO2 molecules Daddy. bump into more okay. water molecules and turn into more carbonic acid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for learning everything. Okay, my molecules are better than yours.